Is that all? Yeah. No. I can fight. Kurt. I'm ready. Pathetic. Turn! This doesn't make any sense. At this rate... Come on, we'll hide under the bridge. We need to get to Instructor Rain ASAP if we're going to figure out some way to help out Ash and Musei. I agree. And we need to get out of this icy water before it saps any more of our strength. That should be our top prior- I hope you don't think I can't see you down there. Is anywhere safe from her? No one escapes the icy maiden when she's this serious, I fear. I can't believe this is happening! Gorgeous sight! So, this is where you grew up, Instructor? What a wonderful place. It's so peaceful and calming. I figured the snow would have all melted by this time of year. Most of it has. This is just what's left over. You would have really seen some snow if we were here a month ago. Oh, how lovely! It's nice to be honeymooning in a winter wonderland. I owe this town much after all they did for me two years ago. I think we owe you more than you owe us. Oh yeah. You used Ymir as your base during the Civil War, right? Yeah. She did a ton of work to improve our defenses and our communications network. I suppose it's been two years for me as well. The last visit I recall was when I was tasked with abducting Princess Alfin and Instructor Reen's little sister. <laughs> it's... um... Also been a while for you, Reen, hasn't it? Why don't we start by letting your parents know that we're here? That sounds good to me. I want to introduce all my students to them. It's going to feel a little strange meeting our instructor's parents. Y yeah, I'm feeling kind of nervous all of a sudden. I, for one, can hardly wait to say hello to my future in-laws. <laughs> I've got a whole lot of stories to tell them about their little baby boy. <sighs> Please don't embarrass me in front of my family.
Mom, Dad, I'm home. It's good to see you again, my son. It's been a long half year without you. I'm sorry I haven't been able to visit as often as I'd like. Especially since it sounds like Elise has been too busy to come home as well. She's asked me to give you both her regards. Well, I'm sure St. Astraea's student council is keeping her plenty busy. I just hope she doesn't work herself sick. I'm sure she's just fine. The younger students all seem to adore her. And she has her highness there if she's ever in need of a friend to talk to. I've also been keeping an eye out to make sure no insects start buzzing around her. <laughs> Are you now? That overprotectiveness may create more trouble than it prevents. Poor Elise. It's a pleasure to see you both again, Lord and Lady Schwarzer. The same to you, Major Revelt. Hmm, it's not hard to imagine that the RMP must be exceptionally busy at the moment. I hope your time here will help ease some of your weariness. Thank you, Your Lordship. Oh, and these must be your students. That's right. My name is Kurt Vander. I have learned much under Instructor Reen's exemplary tutelage. You would be one of the rare practitioners of the Vander School's dual blade style. I've heard that despite how capable you are, you're not one to rest on your laurels. Humble, too. Unusual and admirable qualities in someone of your age. I am honored you would speak of me that way, but I'm afraid you overestimate me. Oh, I don't think so. Name's Ash Carbide. If you've heard it, chances are it's because your son was complaining about what a pain in the ass I am. <laughs> On the contrary. I've heard there's much more to you than that prickly exterior of yours. Reen's told me that deep down, you're a very smart, considerate young man who your fellow students depend on. The hell? You want to watch what bullcrap you're feeding your folks about me, Schwarzer? Sorry, you're just stuck being a big old softie. The denial is what makes him oh so lovable. I am Muse Egret. It's a pleasure. I owe much to both of your children. Ah, I've heard much about you. It can't be easy to shoulder so much responsibility at such a young age. Not at all. Instructor Reen's love and support give me the strength necessary to overcome any obstacle. Oh my. Love, you say? <sighs> can't you spare me your harassment in front of them? <laughs> I see that Elise wasn't exaggerating. You are quite the character. I'm glad that she and Reen have someone like you to come to when they need it. Think nothing of it. That's what family does. Doesn't miss a beat, does she? She certainly does not. My name is Una Crawford. It's a pleasure to meet you. I found myself in Instructor Reen's debt before even enrolling at the Academy, and I've constantly been in it since. But I've been trying to learn as much as I can from him so that one day, I can be a source of strength to others just like him. Oh, you're the young lady from Crossbell. What a commendable spirit you have. I agree. You seem every bit the earnest, cheerful young woman Reen told us you were. Uh, what else did he say about me? He told us, you never give up even when all seems lost, and act like a shining beacon of light to those around you. It seems he really depends on you. That's really flattering to hear. But also really embarrassing to hear in front of my classmates. You're not the only one going red. How are you not completely desensitized to the things you say by now? I feel a little jealous, truth be told. <laughs> anyway, I've had my turn now. Last up is you. Altino Orion. 
<sighs> uh, you okay, Allie? I'm the one who abducted Elise and the princess during the Northern Jaeger's attack on Ymir two years ago. Altina... I know I have no right to even be here after the harm my actions caused you. But since I have this opportunity... I am so terribly sorry for what I did. That must really have been eating away at her. Please, raise your head. You were but a child following orders, and you did nothing to harm either of them. You need not feel any guilt for your actions. Still... There is something I would like to say to you as well. Thank you, Altina. Or what? I hear you were always at Reen's side during the year he was fulfilling the government's demands after the Civil War. I'm truly grateful he had you to support him. Uh, I was just following orders then, too. <laughs> Even so. Besides, you're not here today because you were ordered to be, are you? I... That's true. I'm part of Class 7 because I chose to be and want to be. Aww. <laughs> Our class wouldn't be the same without you. Then you have no reason not to feel completely welcome here. You're a lucky man to have so many wonderful students, Reen. Yeah, I couldn't agree more.
There's the foot bath. Sounds like just the thing after having such a hearty meal. Anyway, I want you to keep watching over me, Instructor. There's still so much I have to learn from you. So I won't let you just disappear. I won't let you leave me.
So, I did what I promised I would. Instructor, don't you think I deserve a word of praise for my accomplishments? <laughs> Can't argue with that. Your motives are worth a raised eyebrow, but you did really well. So, well done, Muse. I'm proud of you. <laughs> you have no idea how it makes me feel to hear you say that.
And you know, I like being with you, Instructor. Uh, uh, I didn't mean that in a weird way. <laughs> I know. There's still a lot I want to teach you, too. Good, because I'm all ears. I've gotten so used to spring everywhere else that the cold here's got me feeling like it's still winter. Think I might take that advice I gave to Kurt and soak in the hot spring.
M Major? I'm sorry. I wouldn't have come in if I'd known you were here. Is that you, Reen? Why don't you come into the water? You must be cold standing there. We haven't had a chance to talk in quite some time. True. We're long overdue for a talk. Well, if you're comfortable with it, then I'd love to. By the way, Reen... Uh, yes? This feels very overdue, but I wanted to thank you. For what? For all you did during the rivalries. For all you did for Milliam, for facing me head on. And for granting His Excellency's true wish. <laughs> Mere words feel woefully insufficient given all you've done. But I also didn't want my gratitude to go unspoken. That's very kind, but you really didn't have to. I was just doing what I wanted to do, and I couldn't have done it alone. That's about what I expected you'd say. This might sound kind of sappy, but I feel like it was worth it all just to see you smile again. You really are oblivious to how you sound sometimes. Jokes and thanks aside, there's something I wanted to ask you, too. What is it? Are you truly happy right now, Reen? Of course I am. Busy, certainly. But I am happy. I still can't believe we made it through the Great Twilight. We even got Crow and Milliam back. I was hoping there was a way we wouldn't lose them, obviously. But deep down, I had already given up and braced for the inevitable. It wasn't without some goodbyes. But it's all over now, and I can still be with everyone I care about. Which includes you, of course. The joy I feel about that hasn't gone anywhere. I'm glad to hear that. Still, there's a difference between being happy over something and you yourself being happy. You went through a lot during the Great Twilight, including having to say farewell to your father. Despite living in fear you would disappear or lose your friends, you came out the other side with victory in hand. You, Reen, persevered to save us all. And I can believe that's made you happy, yes. As much as I can believe that happiness continues to cast a punishing shadow over you. Am I wrong? Uh, 
I'm speechless. You really can see right through me. You're right. I'm still not sure how to handle the happiness I feel. I know it's there. I'm just not sure how to truly accept it. All the people who died on the first day of the war did so because I made the Great Twilight happen. Do I even deserve to be happy when they can't be? Or forgiven for what I did? It may not be my place to say this, but I think you're the only one who can decide that. <sighs> I suppose you're right. I know how you feel because I'm in exactly the same position. You were concerned earlier that I might be overworking myself. For me, I'm just trying to atone for my sins by throwing myself into my work. Major, that can't be good for- Don't worry. I can calculate how far I can go as well as any number. I'm taking care not to cross the line into self-sacrifice. It's tempting though. Every time I achieve something to make Erebonia's future better or see you and Milliam's smiling faces, I get a little closer to forgiving myself. It's not something I can do overnight. It's every moment I can justify forgiveness, no matter how small it is, that gets me one step closer. As long as I don't falter, I'm sure I'll be able to like myself again one day. Hmm. That's a mature way of going about it. <laughs> Far from it. I'm duplicitous to a fault. I wonder if I... I don't think my approach will work for you. You're much too sincere to go tricking yourself into feeling anything other than how you feel. I know it won't be easy for you. Just... I hope you can let yourself be happy. Easier said than done, I'm afraid. Maybe. But if you let it elude you forever, I'll always be one good deed short of being able to fully forgive myself. What am I even supposed to say to that? I did call myself duplicitous. 